Welcome to Carriers 360. This tutorial will guide you how to fill JE Main 2016 application form. First of all, candidates have to choose a web browser among Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox and Internet Explorer. In case of any web browser, candidates must take care that it is the latest version because in case of older versions, the JE Main site may not load properly. After launching the web browser, candidates can search the JE Main website by typing JEE Main 2016 with the help of any search engine. Can, by clicking on the search in results, candidates will be able to access the JE Main 2016 website. Candidates can also type the address of the website in the URL as soon as the candidates access the home page of the website they have to click on the information bulletin which will direct them to a page where the same will appear candidates can download the information bulletin or can read it online as well information brochure contains all the details like important instructions normalization and percentile of marks in class 12th or qualifying exam. Candidates should download the information brochure and save it for all the future references. This information brochure will also help the candidates in counseling as well as in the admission process of JME 2016. After downloading the information bulletin, candidates can visit our page how to fill JE Main 2016 application form. This page is a step by step tutorial on filling the application form for JE Main 2016. Along with instructions, this page contains various other important details like salient features of the application form, important points which a candidate must remember, Specifications to upload the scanned images of photograph, signature of the candidate and the thumb impression. The page also contains all the details for filling the application form like instructions and the snapshots. The snapshots will help the candidate in understanding the online application form layout and filling it correctly. At the very end of the page, candidates will be able to find the complete details related to the application fee. After going through all the details and instructions, candidates can visit the official page of the JE Main website again. And here, for applying for JE Main 2016, candidates are required to click on the link Apply for JE Main 2016. After applying or clicking on JE Main 2016 link, you will be directed to a page where they will find about new candidate registration. New candidate registration is a three simple steps online process. At the bottom of those steps, there is another link to apply for JE Main 2016. After applying for JE Main 2016 or clicking on that, a new page will be opened which will be titled as Instructions and Procedure for Online Submission of Application Form. This page contains all the details related to application fee, methods of fee payment and other charges. Page also contains all the steps for applying online for the entrance exam and important instructions during online application form filling procedure. After reading all the instructions carefully, you have to put a tick mark on I have download information bulletin and read all the instructions by clicking on it. After that, you have to click on proceed to apply online for completing other steps of online application form. After clicking, you will be directed to a new page. This new page will be contain containing important details which you have to fill for the application form. The very first detail, state of eligibility, must be filled with proper care as state of eligibility is the state from where you have passed your class 12 exam. In case 
if a candidate has passed the from delhi and appear for improvement from rajasthan then his obligatory state court eligibility will be delhi candidate should fill this entry after reading all the instructions very carefully if he miss he misses or any instructions or didn't fill it properly it might be possible that his candidature may get cancelled in next entry candidates have to select the state where their school or oblique college or study center is located in next step you have to choose your qualifying examination board as here i am choosing the central board of secondary education as my qualifying board to choose year of passing of their class 12 candidates must read all the instructions given in the application form the candidates who have passed their class 12 exam in 2015 or earlier will be required to enter their roll number in the next mentioned field the last field is the security pin which you have to enter same as given below with care as it is a case sensitive security pin after that you have to submit and you will be redirected to the application form at this page candidates are required to fill up with all the personal and academic details in the first detail you have to choose the paper in which you want to appear to j main in next field you have to choose the mode of exam and the next field will depend on the option chosen by you in case of pen and paper based exam there will be four exam centers that you have to fill up in case of computer based or online exam you have to choose one exam center in the next field you have to choose your medium of question paper out of english or hindi in the column of personal details first field is candidate's name which must be same as that of the registered in your class 12 exam certificate next two details father's name and mother's name should also be filled same as that of registered in your class 12 mark sheet or certificate candidates must be very careful while entering their father's name as well as their mother's name this is because the name will be checked during the counseling as well as during the admission processes in case if the name didn't match the exam certificate in details then in that case the admission process or the candidature for counseling may be cancelled by the examination authority the next field that is state of eligibility will already be selected you have to choose your category out of general scst and obc ncl in the next field along with that candidates must follow the instructions mentioned that with that field next choose yes or no for a person with disability and in case you have chosen yes then you have to enter all the details about the disability the next field is your birthday means you have to choose day month and year as per your date of birth you have then you have to select your gender female candidates should also mention yes or no in the next field which is that they are the only child of their parents after selecting your nationality and place of residence out of rural and urban in the next two consecutive fields you may or may not enter your aadhar number the next column is of academic details where a candidate is required to enter each and every detail such as year of passing class 10th school board or class 12 qualifying examination name of the qualifying exam place of class 12 qualifying exam schooling and percentage of marks in class 12 if candidate has passed the qualifying exam if any candidate has appeared for improvement in his class 
or qualifying examination marks then he must enter that detail in yes or no as well as at the end of the exam there are three fields in which first of all candidate have to choose his mode of preparation and after that he has to enter the school name candidate must be very careful while entering the school name and the address of the school in case of any confusion candidates can check the address and the spelling of the school again and again the very next column is of mailing address where candidate should enter the address of communication with utmost care as all the communication in future will be done through this address only you all must have a valid mail id and a mobile number on which the application number and other details will be sent after the submission of application form let me fill all the details in the mailing address column after that we will move ahead to the next column that is the guardian's details column is about the details of guardians but it is an optional field if candidates want they can fill their education the occupation and the annual income of their parents in case if your mother is a housewife then you have to choose others in the occupation field of guardians detail column the next field is a very important field and that is the password choosing field here you have to choose and confirm your password while choosing a password you have to follow all the instructions given along with the password in the next field for confirming it in the next fields you have to choose a security question and its answer security question must be chosen very carefully and wisely as in case of forgetting your password you will be asked to enter the security question and its answer for regenerating the password along with that you must also remember here that you do not disclose your password security question and the security answer to any one in this world as it will be required in case of you forget your password at the last of the form you have to enter the security pin and then click on the next but before that it is recommended that you should check each and every detail before clicking on the next rechecking will help you in finding and correcting all the mistakes in your application form if any mistake is there then it will be harmful for you in the near future as soon as you click on the next button a pop up will appear where you will be asked to edit credentials or for final submission you will be able to review the page after closing the pop up after checking all the details if you want you can edit the application form or you can proceed ahead for final submission for submitting your form finally you have to put a tick mark at the end of the page and then you have to click on final submit on clicking clicking final submit you again will be asked to confirm candidates who want to proceed ahead can click on yes please do or as they can click on oops please no after clicking on yes please do 